Well, hi everyone, Patep Boy here, um, and welcome back to day three of the Geonosis Dark Side Territory battle. Um, today I'm going to be making my first attempt ever at the Watt Shard battle, um, which is the Geonosis battle. Um, and I'm hopefully going to be able to <laughs> knock this out. I'm at the minimum requirements, plus a little bit. Uh, but I, I am hopeful that G12 is enough. Uh, my geos are G12 plus like one of the <laughs> weaker G12 pieces, so they are not strong. They're, they're not very well geared up. Uh, I'm going to change around just a few pieces of mods for them to try to make Geo Brood Alpha a little bit faster. Uh, as well as Geo Soldier and Poggle the Lesser, but Spy and um, uh, Sunfac, I think I'm going to leave as is just for what they are. So for GOTB, I think that I determined that my DR mods were going to be best for speed, yeah, and higher protection for them. So we're going to run that set on Geo Brood Alpha, and just make him faster and thicker. Um, I'm hopeful, is it a sun fact? Let me go look at you real quick and see. All right, you're pretty thick. You're not very fast, but you're pretty thick. Um, I think you're going to be fine. Geo Spy, I originally had thought to put my Darth Vader mods on him, but it, in fact, my Darth Vader mods take, they increase his speed, but they take down his crit chance, uh, a little bit more than what he has right now. It increases his crit damage to about 220%, but his critical chance drops just a little bit, and so does his survivability. So I think I'm going to leave him as is and just hope for the best with this. I know Geospy is a big carry, but um, let me go put Pongo the Lesser on real quick. I'm just going to put on my JKR mods and just make him fast because he's his stats are not overly impressive, but they're not bad either. And that should... Okay, that actually cuts down your survivability a bit. Um, but I do want this potency boost just for the ability to land those ability blocks. And he's more tenacious. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go with this. And if I lose because of this, because uh, he is less sturdy, then fine. Uh, and I will learn from it. But I'm hopeful that that extra boost in potency helps. And then Geo Soldier, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a different thing. So I don't care as much about crit chance here. Um, and I haven't actually created this slot for him either, but I'm going to go create... Oh. Hmm. Let me go do this. I'll just shortcut here and let's see what this looks like. Because General Skywalker puts on a good amount of protection. He puts on good speed, good crit damage. I don't care about potency as much. Damage up. Okay. I think this is the right way to go with this just because I do get an increase in health and protection and speed. And I do want my Geo Soldier to be at least decently fast. Spy will be um, my second slowest and Sunfac will be my slowest as the tank. But Brood Alpha I want to be fast to be able to get through as many heals as possible. So this is the setup I'm going to run. Again, these are not... I wouldn't call them god mods, but my... Uh, Darth Revan and my General Elkin Skywalker mods are definitely some of the better mod sets I have. So I'm trying to go into this battle as prepared as possible. Um, so, <laughs> without further ado, here goes nothing. Let's just see how this goes. Um, actually, last thing. Let me go select my squad. I have a certain order that I've looked up and not researched, but made sure is right. So I want... That still is wrong. Fascinating. Okay, so if it doesn't do it right, I have... Okay. Got it. Yeah, for whatever reason, that's doing this weird. Alright. Whatever. We'll fix it. That soldier, then we want you, and then we want spy. Okay. And this way, we're applying tenacity down before Poggle's attacking in the turn order, so that hopefully Poggle can land his ability blocks after tenacity down is applied. So, that's the goal with this this lineup here. We want Sunfac and um, Brood Alpha next to each other to tank. Geo Soldier should be able to apply the tenacity down. Poggle should be able to ability block, and spy should be uh, hopefully just hitting really hard. So, let's go for it and see how we go. Alright, so immediately, these guys are <laughs> fast. 
So I'm going to want to see if I can land some debuffs on him right now. Great, so we got some tenacity down. Landed in a building block. I also wanted a building block on this guy if I can. Perfect. Um, I wanted a building block on you because I'm not too worried about a heal right now. That's not ideal, but we did remove turn meter. Okay, let's... You have an expose. Let me try to go after you. We'll see how this goes. Okay, good ability block. Um, and let's try to just ability block you uh, again. We got the ability block. Great. To spell. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'm putting ability block back on this guy. Um, basic should be fine. Nope, no ability block, so let's kill him. Alright. Hit him hard. Boom. Alright, no more revives. And that hopefully should just be tier one right there. That should basically be stage one. All I gotta do is make sure I take down this goon. He can't AoE me. And then I want you to stop cleansing. Good ability block. Let's go after you again. Okay, let's see if we can get an ability block on you now. Ooh, that's a no. Alright, armor shred is fine. I'm not worried about it. Ability block, great. No cleanse coming. Let's kill him. Kill you. We're just going to keep our basics so we have our specials for the next tier. Opening up immediately with a good amount of turn meter and all of our abilities ready to go. And again, you'll notice I didn't use the heal once just because they slowly do recover that protection. Again, our threat here are these two, the AoE dealers. So I am going to call in a big hit if I can to knock him down. All right, that did very little. So we're just going to go after him again. Hopefully, there's the ability block. All right. So now we're going to try to land an ability block here. Not ideal. Oh, I mean, yes, we got the ability block because she's under stealth. Great, we got that. Um, Ferris will be the third target I have, and I'm going to go ahead and just drop these debuffs. Hopefully, just kill him. I'm going to try to hit Bears hard. All right, and then let's see if we can get a ability block here. Oh, that's not ideal. Thankfully, we do have tanks, and those were great dodges. All right, dispel that. All right, so up to two. Barris is, quote-unquote, more dangerous because she's the one who can heal these guys. Actually, I take it back. Now that you're out of stealth, great ability block. Love that. All right. Let's go see if we can knock her down. No heals for you. No need to heal here either. We're all pretty good health. Counter attacks are annoying, and now she's done. Hmm. All right, we have to go after you, just because you're not under stealth. Let's see. Okay. And again, I don't care if they kill my brute alpha, or sorry, my brute alpha, my brute, because he can always get brought back. So I love for him to soak up that damage as much as possible, and that's why I'm not taunting with Sunfag right now. Let's go see if we get a ability block again. I'm right, perfect. Okay, so let's see if we can land an ability block here as well. Not yet. There we go. Alright, so now I'm not worried about him in the slightest. He hasn't applied an armor shred or anything. Great hit. I don't care. And we'll just save the specials for next tier. Alright, good hits. And this should do it. All right, so we're going in not with great turn meter for tier three. Now, the stage three part shouldn't be oh, horrible. Okay, so we have two arc troopers. That is not my favorite, nor is Poggle starting my favorite thing. What does this do? So we dispel all debuffs and we gain turn meter. We give them all offense up and then we call someone to assist. I'm actually gonna try to get that offense up rolling now. I know we don't have any debuffs in this spell, but I really want to get some offense up rolling uh, so that I can maybe one-shot one of these uh, arc troopers. Let me drop the debuffs. Okay, great. Now, um, hmm. I'm actually going to try to get this clone medic just out. Okay. Not quite good enough, but that's all right. I'm going to let him right here try to play an armor shred. I want to ability block an arc trooper if I can, just because he has the grenades that he can throw. Just go after him. Slowly but surely. Okay, good ability block. Let's dispel that. Okay, 
Okay, that's fine. All of this is fine. All right, so we have the ability blocked. We're fine. I'm going to call a big hit just to make sure we get him down. All right, awesome. Okay, so next is ability blocking you again. All right, don't have to worry about a revive. All right, you ability block. Let's go. Great ability block, so let's go hit him. Perfect. And again, I'm just going to use basics because I have no need to use specials. If I keep everyone under control of the ability block, I should be absolutely fine. Great to spell. Let's finish off the medic. All right. Ability block him again. Excellent. Okay. And before things get too... Well, I see I'm debating if I even need to use my heal. I really don't think I want to use my heal right now just because we're all pretty equalized. And I think... I think we're okay. I want to save the heal for in case I run into some really nasty RNG at the start of stage four. Okay. So we're just going to keep pounding at this guy. Don't let him get a grenade off. Don't let him attack. He hits hard. And we're good. All right. So let's just basic our way through this guy. Okay, great. Awesome, that doesn't bother me. I see no need for the heal. We're saving the heal for the very end. And no need for specials. Save your specials unless you need to use them. Boy, he is hard to get through. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. And good. Poggle is not starting. So hopefully what I'll be able to do is call in the big AoE from the... Uh, Oh, jeez. Still three turns. Okay. So we have four four really important targets. Pawns is probably target number four alongside Medic. This guy can destroy us. Kyari Mundi can really rip us a new one. And Mace Windu can apply Shatter Point, which can absolutely devastate. So I want to see... Okay. I need to get debuffs on him before I run that. So I'm going to try to just ability block Kyari Mundi. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to ability block this guy if we can. Excellent. All right. Now, that's not ideal. Let's drop those debuffs. Okay. That's perfect. So let me go up here. Great job. Oh, and there's that AoE that I don't love. He has an expose, so I'm going to hit him hard once. And we get the ability block on him, too. Oh, uh, let me... Let's do this. Just get an ability block. No more rockets. Cool. All right. All right. Uh, ability block here first. That's not ideal. All right. That's not ideal. I hate that. That's really not great. Okay. Good. No more taunt. I need an ability block here really bad. Great, great, great. Okay. I need to heal as well. So what I want to do is call in Geo Spy, get the ability block and some damage on him, and then I really want to blind. Okay, we're going to heal. Perfect. Get the ability block. Okay, you... Yeah, and I don't want you... Well, you can't even use Shatter Point, so I'm not even worried. We're going to blind Chaoti Mundi. Oh, it didn't even go. All right. Well, we're going to go after Medic now. That's fine. Not even a, not even an inconvenience. Oh, and you'll see why I wanted to mod for such strong, thick clones. Because those AoEs really devastate. And if you're not careful, you can just get a run. Alright, so we're going to keep keep picking at him. I need an ability block again, and I can leave him alone. Alright, we're going to leave him alone. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. We've got Kyari Mundi under ability block. I'm going to hit you hard. Great ability block. All right. I need to ability block you now. <laughs> You've caused me a lot of issues. Oh my gosh. What a hit. All right, we're done. That's the mission right there. Pons, as much as an annoyance he can be, can do nothing against this now. We're done. There we go. All right, so... I didn't anticipate the AoE being quite that strong, but as you can see, my goal 
was not to focus somebody down immediately and just try to kill one person. It was to control the field, keep applying ability block, and really just hammer it home on these guys. And I did it with a little bit of mod tweaking to give myself the best chance. But as you can see, it's all in the order and who you are attacking and ability blocking, exposing, blinding, etc. So that was awesome. Uh, very successful run. I'm very pleased with that. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching that. If you have comments, questions, uh, just leave a comment below. Um, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks.